There is one more thing to do on the news.cfm page. It's to output the yearly archive that is in the sidebar. And this is what makes the news.cfm page a little bit more sophisticated than the agenda page you have created in the exercise using the PDF file just before this video. Now, if you think about it, the news.cfm page is used in three different situations. Situation number one, there is no URL parameter supplied, and in that case, we need to query the database for all the news and to output those news in a table. That's the master page of the drill down. Situation number two, there is the news ID parameter supplied, and in that case, we need to query the database for a single news and output that single news on the page. That is the detail page of the drill down. But there is a third situation, and the third situation is down below here. We can also supply the year parameter if we click on one of the links that is in the sidebar. And in that case, it's a third situation, we need to output a table with all the news of a given year. So to tell the first two situations apart, I have used a CF if. Here I have CF if to check if the news ID parameter exists in the URL. And if it does exist, I have one situation that I have CF else for the second situation. It's time to introduce another cold fusion tag for the third situation here, and that is the CF else if tag, which allows me to specify a second condition to check in the CF if block. And in that case, I will check with the is defined function if the URL dot year parameter exists. So I now have three cases, the news parameter, the year parameter, and then CFLs for no parameters. Now, if that exists, then I need another CF query to query the HD Street data source. And I give that query a name of RS news of year, like that. And what do I need to select? I need to select some stuff here. I need to select some things from the news table. So I need to select the news title, comma, the news creation date, comma, the news ID. And I need that information from the news table, but only when, so a where close, the year part, oops, there we go, the year part of the creation date. And remember that this year function is a function of the database. So it's going to be executed by the database server that is in the back end. So if that is equal to the year parameter that is passed in the URL. And this makes also a dynamic query because this is a cold fusion variable that cold fusion will evaluate to generate the SQL statement. Now, in case there are more than one news returned by this query, I want to order them by their creation date in descending order with the newest news at the top of the table and the oldest news at the bottom of the table. Now, let's test that query with a CF dump, and I want to dump here the news of year variable. There we go. So I save and run that page. All right, so here everything is good. If I click on 2014, you see that I return only one news from the database, which is the news of 2014. If, if I click on 2015 here, I return three different news. You see also at the bottom the SQL statement that has been sent to the database. So here the 2015 is the result of cold fusion parsing, evaluating that variable that we have placed in the SQL statement. So this is indeed a dynamic query. All right, let's return to cold fusion builder because now that we have the data, that's the easy part of the story that begins. So I will take this table here, which is the table that I use for the situation when all the news needs to be outputted, and I will copy paste it 
right here there is just one little thing that I will change I will change the name of the query that I need to loop over and here for the news I will change the h1 title here I will change it to all the news of year and then I want to output the value of the year parameter that is in the URL. Now let's take a look at that page to check if everything is okay. So if I click on 2014, you see that I have a table with only one news and here all the news of year 2014. And if I click on this link, of course, I can read that specific news. And if I click on 2015, I have three news with all the news of year 2015. So the page is now finished and thanks to CFL CIF, we have been able to use that page in three different situations.